stock picking, if only it was an exact science. Morning Star research analysts share the secrets of how they identify those elusive, undervalued stocks. Today we're going to look at equity market valuations through the lens of Morningstar's quantitative equity ratings. You may be asking, what are the quantitative equity ratings? The quantitative equity ratings were created to expand upon and complement Morningstar's analyst ratings by replicating their fair value outputs using a machine learning algorithm known as a random forest. The algorithm only requires 12 easily attainable inputs per company, allowing the model to estimate the price to fair value for a large number of stocks. Since Morningstar began capturing quantitative equity ratings in June 2012, the quantitative model has created fair value estimates for 45,000 companies worldwide. Given the breadth of coverage, individual quantitative equity valuations and moat ratings can now be aggregated up to the fund level, sector level, country level, or any level in between to provide macro insights. When we look at the U.S. market, what we see here is the typical Morningstar style box with size of company on the vertical axis and style on the horizontal. When we look at the total market, the U.S. market currently, based on the quantitative equity rating, is 5% overvalued. And actually, when we look at the individual style boxes, the areas of the market that are most overvalued are the growth side of the, of the style box and, and also the small cap side. So actually, the only area of the market that is slightly undervalued is large cap value right now. In this next style box, we've put the moat rating on the vertical axis and the uncertainty rating on the horizontal. And here you can see that the most overvalued area of the market are high uncertainty stocks. And the one area that offers the best value is wide moat companies with low uncertainty. From looking at the two style boxes, you can see that the U.S. market is generally overvalued. But if you're looking for some opportunity, large cap value and wide moat companies with low uncertainty are the places to look.